Hello friends. So today we are going to discuss this question from bi-weekly round 17. Problem number 1, 2, 9, 9. Replace elements with greatest element on the right side. The question is very simple. You are given an array and you have to output an another array in which each element describes the maximum element to its right which is present. I will show you with this example. So that in 1 the maximum element to its right is minus 1 because there is no one. It is written in the question that you have to print minus 1 at the last element. Then for 6 the maximum element is 1. For 4 the maximum element from these two is 6. Then for 5 the maximum element is 6. From For 18 the maximum element is 6. Then for 17 only the maximum element is 18. So, I hope you understand the logic. Uh, we can also do it here also. For the, the last one, we are minus 1 because there is no element to the right which is maximum. For 6, only one element is present, so it will be the maximum. Then 4 from these two because we are not including this element. All the elements to its right are only included. So 6 is the maximum. Then for this case, 6 is maximum. For this case, 6 is maximum and for this case, 18 is maximum. Yeah. So, my code run here is, I'll take a maximum, maxi value, which is the maximum to be minus 1 because the last element should be minus 1. Then I'll make and find the size of this array, input array, make an array and then insert the last element because we know the size to be minus 1. And then I take a counter value. The counter value is actually used to move with this array. Then I move from the back to the front, from right to left, and I found out is this value greater than the max value? If yes, I'll change the maximum value. Okay. And then I'll put out the counter value because my counter starts from this value n minus 2. This is the n minus 1 value, this is the n minus 2 value because the first value which we have to fill is this. This value have we have actually already filled in the start. So we start filling it from here. So I'll put a counter value n minus 2 at the last. And then because whatever the maximum value here, we'll put the maximum value at this counter position and then we'll move the counter value here, counter minus minus. Then again this loop over and see is this the maximum value? No. So then we'll put here in this counter. Actually maximum value we are finding in this array and then we are storing it in this array. Maximum value we are finding it from the array and then we are storing it in the answer vector. And then we just output the answer array which is the final vector. I hope you understand this logic. Uh, thank you for watching this code. This code is acceptable. Uh, I'll see you in the next video.